Ladies and gentlemen, I am Yisrael. Welcome, welcome to the world of Warcraft and a bunch of rather irritated Naga. I'll explain what we're going to be doing today just as soon as I've dealt with these ladies, excuse me. Well, ladies and thing, I don't honestly want to assume the gender of a murloc. There's no way I ever want to get that information anyway, and I don't really want to cause offence by getting it wrong. Of course, causing offence by kicking its head in and then smashing it to pieces with the Ashbringer, yeah, that's perfectly fine. I also don't know how they could possibly take that possibility uh, personally, do you? No? Excellent, good, right. So, the plan for today is to run through the preliminary quests for the new Crucible of Storm's Raid. Needless to say, there are going to be plot spoilers in this, so if you don't want that, now would be a good moment to stop watching. I've got lots of other videos you might want to take a look at. I'm sure YouTube's recommended content is nudging you to them off to the right. Or possibly below if you're watching this on mobile. It's hard to be sure these days. So, with that out of the way, our starting point is going to be one of the Naga Attack quests in the world. Unlike a lot of the plot lines, you don't get spoon-fed this one. You basically stumble across it while killing Naga. Granted, killing Naga is a fun thing to do anyway, and it's rewarding too, most of the time. But what we're after is the Azharan Metallion. As you can see, it's a fairly rapid drop from these things. You probably won't need to wipe out the quest at all. And with that done, uh, you know what? Does anyone actually like Naga? No? Good, right. Yeah, well, excuse me if I take a few minutes just to hammer the rest of these guys into the ground, then we'll pick up shortly. Right, welcome back ladies and gentlemen. So, a world quest's worth of dead Naga and a few more on top for good measure. What? Well, they started it. And it's time to take a look at exactly what this medallion's got to do. So, on the Naga's body we found an ornate metal disc. The writing resembled Elven script and perhaps someone with a knowledge of Naga artifacts could translate the text. We're off to Collector Kojo. Now this NPC exists in two places. The first one is normally up at Talgarub at the flight point here at Scale Trader Post. The other one, if you're Alliance, and I suspect Horde as well, is in Kulteras in Stormsong Valley. So we'll stop by Scale Trader Post first, see if I can't save myself a bit of a half in the flight back, and then we'll swing over to Stormsong if that doesn't work. And here we are at Scale Trader, and Collector Kojo said exists at several points in the world. Blah, blah, blah. And it turns out that this particular iteration of Collector Kojo is in fact not interested in the medallion. So either he's got clones, or that's a little bit of an oversight in the programming. Regardless, we're off to Stormsong Valley and actually following the quest markers and the map for once. So, one little side trip later, and we are back with Collector Kojo once again, on the uh, next island over. Details, details. Apparently postcode matters for these things, because Kojo this time around is interested in the medallion. And let's have a look at it. Oh, he's paying answer right. Excellent. So, what have we got? Orders from Ajara. Ugh, Naga. The medallion is described with orders, looks like now we've been commanded to invade our shores, he's artifacts of great power, yada yada yada. Okay, he... wow. Right, found an island in Stormsong Valley, he f had a da- wait a second, that's- isn't that- isn't that Zalataf? Isn't that the priest artifact weapon? If you find powerful artifacts, bring them to me. Ominous Whispering Dagger. Oh. Great. Okay, um, the last time we saw this artifact, it was being used to siphon off the power from Sargeras' weapon at the end of Legion. However, we're now off to the island and the makeshift shrine, which just happens to be the island that's crawling with goblins. Oh well, hopefully they're phased out. Let's see what we've got. Uh, yip -a -dip -a -doo, dip -a -dip -a -doo. Troll, troll, troll across the island. Ah. We have Eddie fix it, yay! And oh, yeah, we also have a load of goblins. Okay, Dark Iron Dwarves, but they're working for the Venture Goblins Company. Goblins Venture Goblin Venture Company Venture Goblin Company Company Venture Goblins. Ah, who cares? They they all have loot. It's good. 
Right, up we... Oh, wait a second, did I just get turned around? Yes, I did. Right, up we go. Up here, perhaps? I mean, it won't be in the cave that's full of Sabertrons, right? Aha, this looks suitably ominous, doesn't it? Indeed it does. I'm a little worried that we have got Naga stuff here. Right, one ominous whispering dagger. Well, it's not a class weapon for me, so who cares? Oh, the dagger is a quest turn in. Okay, that's not creepy at all. This is probably a very bad idea. Yeah, don't say. So weak, need blood, souls. Right. Strength failing. I need blood souls. Well, let's have a light breakfast of Naga then. Excuse me. Sorry, this isn't a terrible idea at all. I mean, we could really just take this back to the priests and ask them to deal with it. Find out if it's actually a wise idea to charge the batteries. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? I mean, they dumped it for a reason, after all. Apparently that portion of moxie it got from Sargeras didn't last very long, or maybe it just wasn't compatible. You know, there's, you stick diesel in a petrol car and all... Well, literally all hell breaks loose in this case, but that's another matter entirely. Oh, uh, well, we've just about got it tanked up. That wasn't too hard. Excuse me, Missy. Uh, you first, I think. Let me know how it is when you get there. Oh, wait. I'm not going to be following because I, I'm alive and you're dead. Ha ha. All right. A couple more souls down here. Um, you know what? Maybe we can just haul off some Sabertrons. Yeah, you know what? Do it. Come here. And quickly power this all up. We trigger my judgments. And away we go. No, you don't. You did that to me once. You don't get to do it twice. And splat goes the goblin. I wonder if uh, Sabertrons are actually digestible. I, you know, I don't think they were. Oh, well, my own inconvenience. I'm not sure the goblins were all that nutritious either. Who knew? Goblins apparently have no soul. Uh, do, 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 do. Maybe, maybe she's just a very picky eater. You never know. Let's get back up and see if the Naga is still available. It's pointing around this way. Ah, right. No, I think it's just that Zalatath's rather a picky eater. Yep. Zalatath's just a rather picky eater. Apparently it has to be raw Naga soul. Or possibly fricasseed? Nah. Details. Okay, so that's the toddler fed. Let's get her back to the altar and see what happens. Let's actually get back to the... Oh, I'm going to have to go round, aren't I? Boo! Boo, I say. Gib flying mounts when? Okay. Up the hill. Round to the altar. Let's go talk to the twitchy, but now thoroughly fed and totally not evil dagger. Okay, I can offer counsel as I'm sure, I'm sure. Are you... Wait, how is she paying me? Probably best not to ask. Okay, the servants of Nazoth prepare for their master, and she means the Naga. They intend to conjure a scouring sword to show on believers. Okay, find the void stone in Drastvar. Right. The Naga seek relics of Off to Drosva. fuel their ritual. They intend to summon a scouring storm that will wipe this world clean of unbelievers. Fanatics. Personally, I thought you'd be all for it. I mean, I you... realize it may be disconcerting to converse with a weapon. Be at ease. I merely wish to see you reach your full potential. Yeah, right. Kojo, do you want this I totally... I helped another mortal hero defeat the Burning Legion. My selfless sacrifice left me weakened. Sadly, that priest proved short-sighted. Mm, meaning he didn't go full old god with you? Ah, oh, what a pity. I sense you are truly destined for greatness. We will accomplish remarkable things together, you and I. Magnificent things. 
flatterer. Kojo, do you want this dagger back? It's creepy and I don't think it's going to be worth very much at the auction house. No? No? Ah. Fine, well, off to Drusvar it is then. Where's our marker point? Unintended consequences. It looks like we're heading for Eddyport. Okay, that's a reasonably short flight. And following the map brings us to this little isolated spot on the west coast of Drustvar. Handy that she knew exactly where to find it, but at least she bothered to explain that it was calling to her. Now, what have we got here? Very pretty Aurora. And what looks like, oh looky, a cultist ritual. Happy, happy day, excuse me, I'm afraid you need to die. think she can break open the stone? Fool. Were we not pressed for time, I would enjoy watching her fail. Well, if you don't mind, we're just going to take her out. There we go. actually think she can break open the stone? Fool. Were we not pressed for time, I would enjoy watching her fail. Right, so all I have to do is stop the ritual. Uh, right, um... Oh, right, that's who needs to die. Excuse me. <sighs> no, you don't, don't get to finish cast, not when I'm around. Mostly, I mean, that was my main interrupt, but uh, we'll just stun her instead. Smashy, smashy elf. Chronicler of Whispers, eh? I'm sorry, would you kindly... Okay, respawns are doing funky things. Well, it is late in night after all. If you don't mind, we'll just kill her again. And again. And again, as many times as it takes. The cultist will die. Got it. Oh, right. Presumably it was to bait me here. The void stone, my champion. Oh, dear. Should provide the strength I need to help you find the other two relics. Yeah, this is a horrible idea, isn't it? Ooh. Well, we just empowered a... Uh... Oh. Yes. Yes. It's been so long since I took a mortal form. This body is pleasing, don't you think? I prefer something more... I knew you were the right mm. choice. Solid? Your strength and courage are... Compelling. And I thought she just wanted me for my body. Well, let's see what comes so next. Possibilities. Okay, really. Do we have more to... Excellent. Well, hey, you're the one who took the female Void Elf and muttered how pleasing that form was. Now you're telling me not to get distracted? Yeesh. Weapons. Okay, a trident thought lost to the depths and we're off to Freehold. Okay, uh, if by taught a rather harsh lesson, you mean have her head kicked in and all her loot stolen, yeah, that's pretty much my specialty. Yeah, this isn't going to be a horrible idea at all. Where's the nearest flight point? Oh, it's back down at any port. Right, we should be able to just go off the cliff in all honesty. Do, 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 do. And, yep, there we go. We and yoink. Yay, engineering. Wait, no, I think I missed. And then snap it back. Touchdown! Yes, I could have just gone to cancel the buff and dropped in on the parrot, but you know what? That was dodgy. May the mist protect you. So, off to Freeport. And here we are at Freeport. So, there's Fred, he of the appallingly uh, dubious diet, and we need to find the Pirate's Den, which happily is marked, and it's over at old Harlan's loot stash. Okay, um... You know what, I think the easiest thing to do would normally just be to slaughter my way across Freeport, and then take the bridge. But I've got engineering and I haven't got much time, so pop the glider, bypass the whole slaughter my way across most of Freeport, and I'll only slaughter my way across part of Freeport. What? It's all about efficiency and it's not like I'm actually being paid to kill these guys. They're just, you know, in the way. 
So, along the bridge we go. Not sure why I actually bothered to pop a temporary charge mount. I could just use the permanent one. And troll, 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 troll we go. Yay, pipes then. Hey, guys. Don't mind me. I'm just here to loot, pillage, and pilfer my weaselly black heart out. Oh, wait. No, I'm a warrior of virtue. My upstanding virtuous light heart out. It's still going to be a case of loot, pilfer, and pillage, but there you go. I am possibly the worst paladin any of you have ever heard of. But you have heard of me. So, finish up the guard, and happily, the glowing yellow aura around Lieutenant Elspeth the Wavecutter pretty much tells us exactly who we're looking for. Elspeth? Oh, Elspeth! Come over here! No, no? Fine, okay, your grog's watered down. Yeah, that had the desired effect. Possibly a bit too much of the desired effect, actually. She might have taken that remark a bit personally. So might her crew. Oh, well, I'm sure they take the Divine Storm completely personally as well. Uh, no, no, you really couldn't. Not if you'll get knocks at me yelling about your grog being watered. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, grog is one part rum and about three or four parts water. It is, by definition, watered down. So, one ocean chest. What could possibly be in here? Ah, the Trident of the Deep Ocean. And oh, there's our friendly uh, elf once again. Totally not an elf. Absolutely not an elf, really. The accountants around here are very, very determined to get their business done, aren't they? Pity they're not actually any good at it. Okay, right. We have the trident. What's Tell next? What oh, yes. Uh, you just saw me hack through everybody alive over here. Why are you even asking? Oh, good. Meaning you totally did. Okay, the crown of known as Tempest Caller. How fitting that the full of Atal Graal, the gluttonous Tortana would find the artifact. And he's stuck within a cave. Great. Um, we're going back to Voldun, aren't we? Otto growls in Voldun. You're stepping out of the camera frame, dear. Um, also... Destiny lies before us. Surely you sense it as well as I. Actually, I thought it was just last night's curry coming back on me, but there you go. Make your way to the shores of Voldoon. That is where the third prize awaits. Ah, terrific. Terrific. Voldoon. Well, back to Snug Harbour, and then on to Voldoon. And honestly, if you're going to start talking about fate and destiny and things meant to be, really you just need to start talking about the grand writers of the script. I mean, that would get some interesting fourth wall breaking going on. So, off to Voldun once again. Round and round we go, where we stop. Well, basically only the script writers know. Well met. Safe travels. And once we're in Voldun, we're headed up north of Atal Graal, of course. Well, north of the Temple of Sethralis. That's not exactly the world's shortest ride, so you know what? I'm just going to edit this next bit out. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so here we are on the northern coast of Voldun. Thanks to the magic of technology, a journey that took me a couple of minutes has been compressed into virtually nothing. If you're looking for a landmark when you're coming up the coast, by the way, because it's pretty mountainous if you don't have a walk to walking mount to just go round you're looking for this bluff of land with the seagulls on it and this area here is the one you'll be intimately familiar with it's the area for the hyena poop quest yeah that quest directly underneath it we have a cunningly hidden cave and in that cunningly hidden cave we have Zultua. I doubt Toatana will give us the crown willingly. Oh, good. Well, if you don't mind, I'm just going to quickly patch up my fall damage. I need more mana. 
And we have a giant lobstruck from hell. Why, Toatan? I hardly consider that fair of you to say. Let me guess. Your mother? Nah, he's not happy, is he? Well, we will see about that. Definitely her mother. Right, let's get to kill him. Usual drill, pop the buffs, charge everything up, then pop the abilities and away we go. Let the smashy commence. Do, 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 do. Crash, bang, wallop, splat. You know, for a giant lobster of doom, he went down remarkably fast. And we have the Tempest Crown. Can I, can I just hoover, my, hoover up some of this gold? No, no. What do you mean it's not legal tender? Boo. Boo, I say. What do you seek? Yeah. Well, this isn't ominous at all, is it? So, we have all three relics. Now, what horrific ritual do you wish us to undertake? Okay, the great truths to be revealed. The Nuggets sought to... Uh, uh, right. A sight that echoes Such with ancient power. And a quest called Twist the Knife. Right, imminent betrayal incoming, I think. However, we are heading back to Boralus and from there on to the Shrine of the Storm. Luckily, if you're Alliance, you probably have by now got the Spare Captain's Signet of Command, which gives you a short teleport off to Boralus. If not, well, hopefully your Hearthstone's off cooldown and it'll save you a bit of bother, and if you're Horde, I have absolutely no idea how you get yourself back to Boralus. I assume Warfang Hold comes into it at some point. And, okay, so... We're not actually going for the Shrine of the Storm, we're actually going to the Ancient Manor area, the Precipice of Oblivion, which means our nearest drop point, if you're, again, if your Alliance, is Tidecross. Hordes, again, I have no idea where your nearest flight point is. My Horde character is level 100 and still hides his shoulder pads in case you're asking. I need, we need to get around to levelling him at some point. Hmm. We'll be good to see the other side of the story. And there is actually an achievement for doing one Horde side and one Alliance side. Ah, side notes, side notes, side notes. Let's not get distracted head on to the eldritch site of arcane and unspeakable ritual where we will absolutely positively not proceed to get ourselves completely in over our heads and awaken some sort of hideous eldritch abomination which we'll doubtless have to put down in emphatic fashion maybe possibly perhaps and again, this is the lead into the raid, so I suspect we will in fact end up just doing the awakening bit and not the put down and loot with extreme prejudice bit. After all, there wouldn't be much of a plotline left to deal with if we handled both bits at once now, would there? So, as noted, Alliance side, once you've touched in at Tidecross, just pop a water walking mount if you've got one. And if you haven't, head back to Pandaria and start grinding Angler's reputation, because that's honestly probably the easiest way to get this particular... Well, it's the way to get this particular mount, but as water walking mounts in general go, yeah, this is probably the easiest one to obtain. Also, I think that little splash from over there... Yeah, they didn't quite clean up from launching Anduin's new toy, did they? Whoopsie. <laughs> whoopsie, whoopsie, whoopsie. In any event, get yourself across Kraken's Reach, through the Forgotten Cove and up past the Ancestral Manor, and you will find your way to the entrance to the new raid. The, uh, let me see, what was the term for it? Oh yes, uh, Crucible of Storms. And the whispers are still, yeah, she's new and possibly a little bit nuts. We need to take a left here and then follow the pathway up. This, of course, is also the route to the raid entrance. So if you do start raiding Crucible of Storms, this is your meeting point. And there is a very handy raid stone right next to it. So yay for convenience. Oh, do not be afraid. This was always meant to be. Ah, uh, ha, right. This is where the knife gets twisted, isn't it? And also shoved into my back. 
So, you actually hit a transition line right before you hit the raid entrance, and welcome to the Tendril of Corruption. Yeah, I, uh, um, this is bad. This is really, really bad. Are we about to set off something's alarm clock? A stone to call forth the darkness. Why am I even doing this? This is the point at which I should be saying, sod this. Also, you're suddenly solid. Okay, a bit nearer to my type, but I prefer to stay away from artifacts of absolute uh, unholy abomination, no matter how attractive they might be. Vow of Chastity? No. No, uh, that's, that's a myth. Paladins aren't obliged to swear that. And a crown to uh, mark the absolute idiot? Hmm... For the ruler of all worlds. I don't think she means me. Hear me, God of the Deep. I have brought you the opener. Oh dear. The bringer of truths. Um. The that lights the way. Honor our bugger. Free me to find my own fate. Go. But the blade must remain. A fair exchange. Shadows guide you, my dear friend. We will meet again. I am certain of it. Ray boss calling it now. Uh help. I think we might have made a little bit of a boo-boo. Also, I appear to have a uh, eye on my head. Oh, great. Uh, Pike! It's all gone horribly wrong. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have listened to the crazy, crazy elf weapon. Let's go talk to Brother Pike very, very quickly. As I probably should have done right before we did this. Anyhow, we're taking a dash south-south-west. In fact, I think we might be heading, yeah, all the way back to Boralus. So, you know what? Hit the hearthstone again. Also, I am special in the eyes of Nazoth. He sees all. Lucky me. Uh, lucky, lucky me. I just rang an old god's alarm clock. This... This was not a smart thing to do. On the bright side, I've killed, what, two and a half old gods already? So, bear. Yeah, this is just the third one. Mind you, Nazoth had, a, I think, a bit of a rep for being smart. In particular, he pretty much sat out the various wars of the old gods and was content to let them just, well, take each other out. Um, Pike, I need a bit of a hand here. Help. Pike? Where are you? Oh, there you are. The storm awakens in all of us. Okay, the old gods always. Uh, look, can you do something about this eye on my head? I have a feeling it's going to see things I don't want it to see. No, not like that. Okay, so we have the Crucible of Shadows. The intention to stop the Naga attacks was noble. Whoops. Okay, we are heading to the Crucible Storms and getting those relics of power. The Naga cannot be able to summon their storm because, of course, the Naga are working for Nazoth, so there's nothing stopping just giving him the artifacts. And, oh, look, we now have that world scouring storm coming in once again. So we need to stop Urnut, and that will get us some Azerite power. And there's also the question of the fact that his eye is upon me. All right, so the tendrils of Nazoth are burrowing into my mind. I'm like, oh, is that what I felt? Apparently last night's curry really wasn't that bad. 
Okay, a rite of cleansing. The rite will be perilous and painful, but it is your only chance to be free. Not Lucky me. Fine, well, let's go and get rid of this eye then. Uh, at least he knows how to get rid of it. That's actually kind of convenient. Do I have to burn the entire Order of Tidewalkers for heresy? Sorry, Tide Sages. Not Tidewalkers. So, we are in fact heading back to the Crucible of Storms. Hooray. And there's no convenient flight point either. Boo. Boo, I say. Well, let's go get this done. Admiral's favor, friend. So, here we are. One quick jaunt back to the precipice of oblivion. And we should have Brother Pike somewhere up close. Interestingly, the uh, god-touched one has disappeared. I'm assuming that's a phasing thing. Uh, let's go see Pike. Do, 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 do. And we just head up here to get rid of this. Also dodge round the possessed and otherwise gribblied, well, extra gribblied gribblies. Brother Pike, where are you? Uh, oh, right, down here. Here we are, right, so, can you get this off me? I am ready to begin. Okay, uh, do I wish to cleanse the gifts off? This is a permanent decision, by the way. However, on the basis that every single worshipper of the old gods I've ever met, not to mention every single dupe and ally of them, has descended into driveling insanity, usually right before I killed them and took their stuff, this is a no-brenner. Let's just get rid of this. We must carry on. Okay. I, but the process will be unpleasant. It, it's never pleasant. It's not going to be take to aspirin. Okay. Lucky me. Okay, well, I'm standing very still. Whee! Pop! Yay! I have my hood back. Uh, let's go with the first option, because the number of times I've been smeared across the floor in a thin paste when tanking, trust me, resilience not in the listening. cards. So, finish off his eye upon him, we have the twitching eyeball. Receive the gift of Nazoth, now dormant. Alright, the darkness fades and my mind is once more own. Yay! So, that brings us to the conclusion. Of course, you could opt to retain Nazoth's gift, and we've got no idea at the moment what the long-term consequences of that are going to be. I suspect that most people are going to dump it, but it's interesting to see Blizzard nudging us towards choices going one way or the other. Of course, long-term, the consequences can't be too severe. I mean, I mean, can our characters devolve into permanent drivelling insanity and get put down by their own raid members? Who knows? In any event, our next stop is going to be the Crucible of Storms raid, which I believe opens next week. That is effectively the week beginning the 15th of April 2019, if you're watching this in the future, or at least the moderately far future. It depends how fast YouTube decides to process this. But that is us caught up on the latest plotline. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, farewell.